it's me, Martijn, and this is the ADO A26, a bike that looks a lot like a mountain bike and could go all the way up to 35 kilometers an hour. So is it any good? Let's find out. ADO is a Chinese manufacturer of e-bikes and we've tested many of their products on the channel over here. Check them out by clicking here in the top right corner. They put a big focus on being affordable while getting you the best quality possible along with a network of service centers dotted around the EU. Let me tell you what the A26 has to offer and if it's any good value for money. This e-bike was sent by Geek Maxi for review and the price is around 8 to 900 euros, which also includes VAT and shipping. This A26 was delivered to my house in a box and parts of the bike I had to assemble myself with the included inexpensive tools. It took me around 10 minutes because you have to install the front wheel for example, the bike standard, the pedals and so forth. For 8 to 900 euros I didn't expect a lot in terms of design, integrity and construction, but it's actually not bad at all. This box contains the brain of the bicycle and it's not pretty looking and the battery is a bit clumsy. When I first saw this little box that contains the brain of the bike I was a little bit concerned. There's a hole here on the side but also one on the bottom, so I thought one puddle of water and that thing is broken. However, it's all concealed and attached via waterproof blocks. All of the cables on the steering wheel are nicely bundled and concealed too. And quite surprisingly, the A26 is well equipped given its low price. The bike is equipped with disc brakes, mechanical disc brakes with steel cables. Hydraulic brakes of course would have been the best, but you cannot really expect that in this price range. It has Shimano gears and they switch fine. Instead of a bell, it has this loud horn. Next to it is a USB charging port for your phone. And what else do you want more? Well, maybe a smartphone holder? Yes, you also get that for 8 to 900 euros. But let's be honest, it's one of the cheapest kind and I don't trust my phone in this plastic holder. Next to that we find a bright display that is easy to read in sunlight. It is also equipped with a good headlamp that gives you a lot of light. And interestingly, they also included a tail light. The saddle is also remarkably comfortable considering the type of the bike and it's even equipped with a suspension fork, albeit that it's nothing special. It is good for small potholes and speed bumps, but that's basically it. I wouldn't go or dare to take heavy trails in the mountains, if we had any of those of course over here in the flattest country on earth. Okay, so another thing to notice is that it doesn't have any mud guards, but that's usually the standard with e-bikes or let me say mountain bikes but mountain bikes in general have no mud guards all of these including the mud guards the bell and the usb charging ports are components that you normally don't find on a mountain bike so that's a nice addition from ado the bike has a 450 watt hour battery that is good for about 50 kilometers of range in the assisted mode with my 80 kilograms on good bike roads and in normal weather conditions and the battery is removable, so you can take it to your office or into your house or apartment. Regarding the speed, it reaches the stated 25 km per hour easily. But the most important question is, how is the pedal assistance? Well, interesting. Mode 1 assists up to about 18 km an hour without too much power. Mode 2 and 3 don't support you while pedaling, it allows you to go in a full automatic mode the moment you reach 6 km an hour. And that, full electric mode, moving you forward without pedaling, is illegal here in the Netherlands, as by law you have to pedal along to move forward on an e-bike. But there is more, in the rear wheel is a motor which is 500 watts, which is not allowed, 250 watts is the maximum, and interestingly, you can remove the speed limit via the display. You can increase it easily from 25 to the maximum 35 kilometers an hour. 
And on top of that, because this thing has a throttle that allows you to go all the way up to 35 kilometers an hour without pedaling at all, doesn't make it any more legal. It makes it a speed pedelec and speed pedelecs fall under the MOPE legislation here in the Netherlands. They are allowed to go all the way up to 45 kilometers per hour and may have a throttle, but then a helmet is required. You also need a license plate mounted and to be insured. Plus, you can't just ride on a bike path anymore. Just don't get me wrong, it's not that I, that I don't like speed, in fact I love it. And I'm crazy about Formula 1 for example, but that's a story for another video. I believe that removing the limiter from this bike is probably one of the nicest things. But then I want to have a stable bike with very good hydraulic disc brakes better suspension and thicker tires to feel more secure. The best thing about this bike is probably its price and that also might be the only fun thing. This is a dirt cheap mountain bike. That's actually not a mountain bike but an e-bike that wants to resemble a mountain bike. And even that it can do well because of the throttle and the 500 watt motor. It is not even a regular e-bike that you would see across the Netherlands over here. It's a speed pedelec which doesn't meet the legal requirements at least here in the Netherlands and if it's legal or illegal in your country I don't know but please do your research because if I ride this thing one more time and the police catches me the list of fines will be huge. And that's where I'm gonna end this video, so I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, let me know down below, because I would love to help you out. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, and please subscribe, so that I see you in the next one.